What's up everybody? Welcome back. So we're bouncing around doing a couple different things today. I picked up another donor truck this morning. Uh, it, actually it was delivered to me, but it's 2001 Suburban. I'm gonna get this thing shuffled over to the donor space right over there. And then I'm gonna get the trailblazer pulled up off of the trailer. I gotta come up with some kind of makeshift fuel system for that. So that's what I really wanna show you is I'll figure out how to do that and then show you so you can do the same thing if you need to. And then this evening we're going to look at a possible drivetrain donor for my father-in-law's project. So I'm gonna bring you along to see that also. Okay, I got things shuffled around to where they need to be. I'm getting going on this trailblazer. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my, my in-tank regulated fuel pump that I have for my, uh, my fuel injector test bench. I'll put a link to that video up here. Uh, I'm gonna grab that fuel pump and that five gallon bucket, and I'm gonna essentially just run the pressure line to the feed line on the fuel rail. This is a return style system. So I'm probably gonna need to run a hose out of the return back into the bucket also, just so I don't it doesn't vomit gas on the ground because there's no tank in this thing. Uh, so I'm gonna get that hooked up and then I'll slap a battery in it. And that should be, I'll just hot wire that fuel pump to just run off, I'll probably just run a, a positive wire and a ground wire right down to the little battery connections. And uh, I mean, that should be all I really need to get this thing going. So hopefully it'll be just that quick and easy. All right, let me show you what I have rigged up in here. So I've got my return in tank fuel pump set up. This is from my fuel injector test rig. I've got the pressure feed rigged up to the pressure feed. I've got a hose run from the fuel rail return just back into my bucket here. And I've just got it connected to the battery terminals on a switch. Uh, so I'm gonna throw some gas in the bucket and this battery is a little weak. I need to hook up some jumper cables and then we should be able to get this thing to crank over and fire up. Hopefully, that's the theory, right? Okay, we've got our jumper cable hooked up. Let's see if it'll crank. There we go. All right, so we're cranking pretty well. Uh, next is get some gas into the fuel rail and see if this thing fires. It should. Ran on starting fluid. All right, we've got gas in it. Fuel pump's running. Running a little rough, but it's running. Alrighty, well how about that? Our little uh, temporary rigged up fuel system works. It's running a little rough, but the gas I put in is recycled gas out of part out vehicles and this thing's been sitting for like eight years so i didn't expect it to run great on this gas and this time the big thing is it's quiet there's no rod knock i really don't even hear any lifter tick 
Let's get this thing down off the trailer. Get it backed up and uh, moved over where we can look at it a little better. Wahoo! That'll make it a lot easier to move this thing around until I'm ready to get the, uh, get the engine pulled out of it and the rest of the drivetrain. Right. Pump, I'm still super excited to have this engine for the next project. Really, really excited about that. All right, well, here we go. We're gonna go check out this car for my father-in-law. And uh, hopefully, hopefully it works out and I can snag this up for him. show you to you a little better when we get back home uh, it's a 1993 Cadillac DeVille but the the interesting thing about this is it has a 4.9 liter transverse mounted V8 in it with an automatic transmission so it's a it's a very compact engine my father-in-law wants this to put into his Fiero project so I mean, I think it's, I think it'll be a really cool swap. And uh, the gentleman I bought it from was really knowledgeable. I guess he, he knew some people that have actually already done this. That's why he didn't just scrap the car. He figured somebody would want it for that same reason. And, uh, but I, I guess supposedly it's a really straightforward and uh, not very complex swap to do and a substantial power increase over the factory V6 that came in the Fiero. So I'll, I'll show you a little bit more of the car when we get back to the house. I mean, it's definitely not good for anything but a drivetrain donor. But the engine sounds really good, and uh, I was able to scoot it forward and scoot it backward and, uh, in gear. So transmission appears to be working well, and hopefully it'll, it'll work perfectly for what my father-in-law wants to do, do with it. Okay, well, life's been busy. It's a few days later, but I finally got some time. The fuel pump in this thing is totally shot. I don't know what happened between there and here, but the fuel pump just, it will not pump any fuel. And the, the start wire from the switch to the starter, the exciter wire, for some reason that's not getting any electricity. We had to jump that when I was there to pick it up, so no big deal there. Uh, but let me see if I can't get this thing to uh, fire up and run for a second. It's super super quiet. It's kind of weird how quiet it is. There you go, runs pretty good. Like I said, it's, I mean, the engine is just all but silent. You can't even tell if, except for just the wind noise from the fans that it's running. So, should work great for, uh, for my father-in-law. 
and I'm sure it'll need, you know, basic tune-up stuff, set of spark plugs, set of wires. It looks like there's been all kinds of rodents in here. Probably a fuel injector cleaning. Um, but otherwise, I think this is going to work great for his project.